Welcome to the easiest cooking series on this app. And as always, if you disagree with any of the ingredients I'm using to cook or the methods that I choose to cook them, then you can scroll on and kick rocks. A few people have told me it is time to shorten my intro, so that is what I'm doing. But we all know why we're here and who we're here for. So today we're going to be preparing our sticky chicken, which could also be known as Russian chicken, but we're changing to the name Ukrainian chicken. And just as a clarification, it's only called Russian chicken because the original recipe said to either use French or Russian dressing. So I guess I should have called it French chicken since I chose French dressing, but the person who sent it to me called it Russian chicken. So that's what I called it. And also, if you're Russian, no hate to you either. I was, it was just to be funny. But whatever we call it, we are going to be preparing this pre-prepped freezer meal today. I'm just gonna pop it out of the bag and put it directly into my Dutch oven, frozen, and cook it straight this way. But if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can cook it in the crock pot. It's just for some crock pots, you're going to have to make sure that they are rated for frozen food. And if not, you're going to have to completely defrost it before you put it in the crock pot. You can also cook it from frozen on the stove top or in the Instapot. But with both of those ways, you're gonna have to add a cup of water. On the stove top, you have to add a cup of water just so it doesn't burn. And in the Instapot, you have to add a cup of water so it'll come to pressure. So as always, we're gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for about two and a half hours. This is what it looked like at about an hour and a half. Also, another quick and easy tip is if you are making boxed rice mixes, all you have to do is make them according to package directions in your rice cooker and set it to white rice and it cooks perfect every time. Also roasted some veggies in the oven for about an hour with butter and steak seasoning on them. Super easy. And you guys, this is what the chicken looked like when it came out of the oven. It was so delicious. We served it with the rice aroni fried rice that I showed you a minute ago and the roasted vegetables that I did, which I forgot to say earlier is the snap pea blend because I thought it went with the whole sticky chicken vibe. I put the vegetables on top of the rice and I put some of that sauce on top of the rice also. When I tell you this was so tender, I went to cut it, but I didn't have to because my fork just immediately shredded it. 10 out of 10 would recommend.